Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex, and going to be doing another layout tonight now. Um, two more days left before I head out to Disney World. I'm so excited. And Harry Potter. I was watching films last night on YouTube of uh, Harry Potter. I don't need, I can't even begin to explain how excited I am. I got a mess going on here. Anyway, um, I am working on July for my grandson Will. Um, the background paper that I'm going to be using is um, just a uh, white and kind of a t turquoise or a teal uh, swimming pool water blue is what I'm going to call it. Um, 12 by 12s. This was open stock from Michaels. Um, and I am doing the month of July. And so what I did is I have all my months and years printed out here because I've got so much to catch up on that I got them all ready to go and I did my color box chalk around the edge in the blue. Then I took and this paper that I printed out here was actually paper I printed for another order that I had um, which was the uh, maternity uh, the mommy and or the expectant mother and her husband um, well, it was a previous video I did, and this was the color scheme I had used. And I had a couple sheets I had printed out that I had left over, so I decided to use that so I could incorporate some greens and blues in, into these pictures. Um, let me see. I think I'm going to work on the bottom on this one. This is all of our celebrating in the backyard swimming this summer. Or no. Remember, I'm two years behind. This would have been 2012. This would have been a year ago. So Will would have been a year and a half old, or not quite a year and a half old. Um, my grandkids are absolute lovers of the water. Um, I did break down, I hate to tell you because I know how I lecture how you can get all of these images on, on Google searches, and so I never buy clip art. Well, I found a site that, let me tell you what it is called. Um, I hope I have it up still. It is Graphics Shop, graphicshop.com. And they had, they have tons and tons and tons of clip art. And it's the kind I like because um, they come in groupings. And they come where all I have to do is print them and cut them out. Some of the clip art I have comes in layers, and when you open it up, it's they're they're like a color book layer all broken apart, and you have to go in there and color and put them together and whatever. And I don't like doing that because there's certain things that um, I pick my battles on what I have time to mess around with and what I don't have time to mess around with. And when I'm scrapbooking and I get going, I I just want to get it done. So, um, I don't like to dink around with inventing all sorts of clip art. So, I went in and they were all on sale for a dollar each. For a dollar each, I don't have to worry about worry about it. And the colors on a, the, um, the resolution, they're perfect. They're, so, I did break down and buy some. And all of these pictures, look at my, my, my little grandson throwing them in the air. Oh, and he just was loving it. He was a little over a year there. He turned one in April, and this was probably in, this was in July. So, um, my precious little Will, and I got to figure out how I'm going to lay these out because I want to add these adorable frogs that I got off of that website that are in the greens and blues and they're swimming and it's so incredibly cute that I'm going to incorporate those into these pages and I have a date showing on that I don't like dates showing on my pictures I don't know why that's ever turned on I don't turn it on I don't like that 
don't like that at all. Let me see here. If I put that picture over it, I'm going to run out of space. However, if I align these just so, then I have room for my other. I got it. I got it under control. I'm going to cut the date, cover up the date. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this just high enough up there to put July of 2012. And then I'm going to bring, I don't know what we were doing here. I think we were um, trying to pick up, we had a bunch of toys for Kendall to die for. And I think we were pick, actually picking them up with our toes. Kind of a cheater's way of diving, I guess. I'm not really sure, but I can't believe that the swimming season is over with already. It takes forever to get here, and boy, when it's gone, it is gone. My, um, <laughs> my will was over last night, and you know, it, it just sometimes blows my mind um, how much we take for granted and how literal children are, but Will came over and he was looking out the back window and, and um, looking at the pool and he's going, Nama, Nama, let's go swimming, let's go in the pool. And I said, honey, it's way too cold because we're getting ready for the, the onset of winter right around the corner. And I said, honey, it's way too cold. We can't go in the pool. And he says, we can wear our jackets. Oh, that's just, I, I just crack up. I just think that kids are, some of the things that come out of their mouth are just so stinking cute. They are they are so innocent. They have no clue. And these turtles are too cute. I love them and I'm going to use I'm going to use a bunch of them. And you know why? Because I can. I'm going to put one over here and I'm going to bring it up about there. And they're swimming too. Maybe not in my pool but they are swimming. The year that I was pregnant with my youngest, um, uh, I was due in July, and a mommy duck went and laid her eggs, made a nest by my pool. And so it was a big joke who was going to go first, the duck. You've heard the saying that with what came first, the, the um, chicken or the egg, the egg or the chicken or whatever it is. Um, they were trying to figure out who was going to go first, me or the duck. Well, the duck beat me. And, um, but it was kind of, you know, it's a it, it was cute. However, it was not, it was messy having a duck lay its nest right underneath my pool or underneath my um, little tiki bar next to my pool. It made quite a mess so I was happy to see that it went first but watching the duck lead its ducklings away I, I didn't know where they were heading without having to cross a highway so I'm, I'm not really sure how far they made it. I didn't try and follow them. I had my own concerns about delivering my own little duckling. But anyway, I'm going to put another one down here. I decided to go that route. And this one, I'm going to put snorkeling up here. Will is going to think that's cute. What prompted me to go and um, look for all of the clip arts, I went and did a search for clip art little boys and that's how I ended up with this site. But I'm telling you, I, I bought probably 20 some um, groups of the clip art. And now I'm back on trying to find some more because I have a ton of clip or things that I can use for infants. But once a little boy hits two, um, at least this little guy, you can't be using any of that baby stuff anymore. Um, the, you know, little babies crawling and little babies in a high chair and, I mean, once he hit one, actually. So, I've got 
this page done with all the little turtles. Now let me do the second page, which I have no clue what I'm doing on this one. Oh, I think what I was going to do on this one was I have some, I got one with a fire engine. This is still July, and I think I'm going to put this one up at the top. Change it up a little bit. And I'm only doing one layout tonight, and then I'm calling it a night. I'm getting tired, and I need to make sure I get plenty of rest before my big trip, because I'm sure it's not going to be easy keeping up with 13 people making sure everybody is accounted for at all times. Um, whoops, dropped the picture. And Will eating his sweet corn. Oh, how he loves sweet corn. Now this picture, I don't know how good you can see it, but that little boy is peeking around the corner there and I can tell by the look on his face that he is all set to wreak havoc on somebody. He's got something up his sleeve, but we haven't quite figured out what it is. Or I don't think anybody figured out what it was. But boy, did he have a look of typical little boy. He is my, he is my sweetheart. And I love the way he's so excited to go to Disney World. Oh, I, you know what? I have some little flip-flops here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a pair of these right here like she slipped them off. These were from a different piece that I did. But I'm going to set them like here. And this one I'm going to put... Let me see. I think I'm going to pick her foot up a little bit if I can. And put the other foot up there. Hmm. I wanted a flip flop on there. Okay. And Kendall is holding him when he's getting ready for bed. He's got tired out all over his little uh, jammies. And I think that everybody in that household should have a shirt that says, Will is tired us all out. He's one of the busiest little boys I have ever seen. He does it eventually wind down. He's sleeping on daddy here. But boy, it takes him a long time to wind down. Kid has got more energy. They could only bottle that stuff. There we go. Now, I think what I'm going to do here, and this one, because this is so typical Will, this little character is holding a Sharpie pen and he has painted his dog black and white spots. And I think that's so cute because Will happens to have one of his dogs is, um, actually my dogs are black and white spots. His dogs are not black and white spots. I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason for me on this one here. I'm just going to do some cuts here and a little fire hydrant. And I'm doing these because they fit a little boy on a tricycle, in a fire truck. He's not swimming in this picture, so I'm not going to put any more fishies on the page. I did have a whole bunch of Nemo fish that I was going to use. I'm going to have to open up another room here just to hold all of my die cuts. I tell you, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, and I'm running out of, running out of, um, my, I gotta order some more paper from HSN. I need to order more of my shipping boxes. I need to order more of my HPG tape. And I can't do any of it till I return from my trip because if it doesn't come in before I go, I don't I don't want it sitting out there and I don't want to have to have it anybody else worry about collecting it for me. So I stopped all my mail and shipments and I don't know. 
but I'm running out of all. Hard to believe I could run out of anything, but I guess running out, um, running out, the true definition of running out of items to me is not having drawers full. If the drawer's not bursting with, with um, whatever it is that I use, <clears throat> then I consider myself in short supply. I don't think I've ever run out of anything. And let's see here. There we go. I'm going to put him right back here. And I got him there. Do I have the tricycle one on there? No, I don't. I got him painting the dog. Here's another one. Nope, that one's already up there. So let's go ahead and... You know, this could be Will. You could see him um, in numerous places, all it seems like at the same time because he moves so quickly. And so I am going to stick. I'm going to stick it up there. There we go. I need something here, though. I want something here. What do I want here? He's already painted that. This little guy's standing here with the hose, but his hose. Nope, not gonna do it. Guess what? Not gonna put anything else on there. I'm gonna call it quits. And that's enough. So let me bring you down here and show you what I have. Oops. Would be nice if I would hold my ham camera still, wouldn't it? There is, with the little fire engine guy, and he's sneaking up on somebody, and the fire truck, and then here is my swim page. And I'm going to have to say, these turtles I absolutely love too, too cute. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Thank you and have a good night.